So, uh, sorry, not 15 actually, chapter 13, right? Chapter 13. So, dra here, and the dragon stood on the sand of the seashore. Then I saw a beast coming up out of the sea, having ten horns and seven heads. And on his horns were ten diadems, and his head were blasphemous names. You know, um, there's a dragon. Who is a dragon, actually? Dragon is a, nothing but a Satan only. So um, he saw a vision of dragon and also a, a vision of beast coming out of the sea. And this beast has uh, 10 horns uh, and that represent um, uh, horns have uh, all over the head, crowns, diadems, you know, and that represent uh, uh, governments, you know, ruling, ruling parties, governments. So it also represent kingdoms, 10 kingdoms, you know, okay, and then seven, seven heads. You know, um, even uh, you see one head is also very powerful, but seven heads means to kill anything which had to kill the animal or anything which has seven heads is very difficult to kill that animal because if even one head is gone, still they can survive because with other six heads, right? So here seven heads this beast has. Okay? Heads here also, meaning of heads is rulers, leaders, maybe leaders, right? But those 10 horns, horns represent power and uh, um, strength. Like, you know, any animal horn, what is, uh, horn is the strength of the animal. You know, with the horns only, it will fight, right? So, here, 10 horns, just look at that, how powerful that is, right? Very strong. So it also represents 10, that beast has 10 kingdoms under him. So here the beast is a person, is a, is a, it's not a, a spirit. Beast here is a person, you know? So this person has 10 kingdoms under him and seven seven rulers under him. So it means they, um, they're all serving this person, you know. So that's what we call Antichrist. Is nothing but Antichrist is the one who has more uh, nations under his ruling, under his power. So that's what it says, 10, 10 nations come under him and the leaders of those nations serve him, you know. So, and... And uh, that beast which I saw was like a leopard, le leopard, and his feet were like a bear and mouth like a mouth of a lion. See, actually, these uh, these animals represented in, in um, Daniel in Daniel chapter. Uh, I'll give you the. It's uh, mentioned in the Daniel. These are the. Daniel chapter 7. So these are four animals were mentioned in the in the book of Daniel. These a fourth one is more um, dreadful and powerful than other three animals, right? And uh, it, that's how it mentioned in the book of Daniel. So but these let's uh, think about these three animals. See, these are all it means this beast has Oh, it is this beast, according to the Daniel vision, this beast is the fourth one. Okay, so that's what Daniel writes. The fourth one who comes into the power more powerful than the uh, previous three one. Okay, so here, so this beast is fourth one. And this beast has all the qualities of all those three. So um, this, uh, it, this is like a leopard means. It is like a, like a cat like cat like vigilance, you know. So appearance is like that. It means see how sharp cat is like a, it's very alert. 
cat is like a very alert, like vigilance, you know. And then uh, uh, here, uh, bear, bear is like a known for uh, slow but very crushing. It crushes. So we, so feet is like a uh, crushing power, powerful, you know. So this beast, this person has those qualities. And the mouth is like a, a mouth of a lion. Like it's like a uh, authority. It has a lot of authority over everything. You know, his lion is supposed to be a king, king uh, of the jungle, right? King of the forest. So that's that kind of authority it has, that person has, okay? So actually all this power who gave that person who the dragon gave this person all this power you know so it means somebody who is going to come and he will he will be um, under the influence of dragon whoever is going to come and rule these nations that person will be like a, will be given by the dragon that powers evil powers see um it it could be like this you know how jesus also was offered you know the satan offered jesus right all the kingdoms of the earth you know i will give it to you if you worship me like that so this person i think uh, um uh, that took the offering from the satan you know so that's why satan gave him all the powers and authority, all the powers of the evil, all the powers of the world is been given to this person. So, um, so we we call like you know we think that this is anti antichrist only, but we always think antichrist means our focus more on anti, like you know, oh this person must be opposite to Jesus. But it is not like that. That that's not is not opposite to Jesus. But it is he is more like a, instead of Jesus, you know. So he is try to imitate Jesus. So we should not deceive ourselves. If somebody like an Antichrist means somebody should be very like a is it, not like a outwardly seen. He otherwise if it he's outwardly seen like an opposite to Christ, everybody would come to know. He, if he is so evil, everybody would, well, how can we be deceived? No one would be deceived. If, he's, if he looks so evil, if everything opposite to uh, good, if he is doing everything bad, no one wants to follow him. So that's not a deception. You know, so Antichrist, we should not think it's like opposite of good, everything. No. Antichrist is like a very deceiving spirit. He deceives people and he actually imitate Christ. So that's why it's not like anti actually, he's like instead, you know. So he, um, he's going to be like, he's, it means he's going to be very soft. He looks very, very good. He's like, a, he, he, he never looks evil. So he looks very soft, very kind, and very gentle. Like that's why people will be deceived by seeing him. He he looks he 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 start doing good things to people. So like that, uh, people will be deceived, thinking he is the good one. You know. So um, let's see about him more. So I saw one of his heads as if it had been slain and his fatal wound was healed, was three, okay? And the whole earth was amazed and followed after the beast. You know why people are going to follow him? Because this one, one head wounded actually, one head wounded, but restored back. It means, you know what it could be? Maybe, there's some uh, God might have judged some nation. Maybe judgment had come to that nation. Something might have happened. And, but this beast, this Antichrist, revived with his uh, power 
with his all authority, he's going to revive that nation back again. He's going to lift up that country, come back to normal again, revive that country. So when people see that, wow, like when people see that, the way he revived that nation back again, and they're going to be amazed and they want to follow the beast because he might do very good to that nation. He might restore that nation back, you know, maybe due to war, whatever that nation is going to be destroyed. Maybe that was the judgment of God, but he's going to, he's going to revive it. And people are, so that's why they think, oh, he must be God because no one can do such thing. And he could do that, you know? So that's why it says here, um, it says here, verse four, they worshipped the dragon because he gave his authority to the beast and they worshipped the beast saying, who is like the beast and who is able to wage war with him? Maybe he stands support of that country. Maybe he protects that country. Maybe he builds that country back again and he does very good job in that. And that's where the world is going to be amazed at that. And the world also looks at that, wow, power was given to this man power he was powerful that's why they start worshiping him and they start worship dragon also so they don't think that is something evil you know so um then um so that's why he's saying that who is able to wage war with him so because he becomes so powerful to resist every opposition and that's why they were saying that can anybody stand against him like that, you know? So there was given to him a mouth speaking arrogant words, blaspheming and authority to act for 42 months was given to him. It means what? 42 months means three and a half years again. So it means first three and a half years, he was good. People, nobody knows he's the antichrist. He deceives people for three and a half years just doing good to everybody, okay? And then afterwards, what happens? He started blaspheming God. He started speaking arrogant words, you know, because what happened? Because of his popularity, he started people, like uh, forcing people to worship him now. Oh, then, you know, so that's, it means, I want you to think like that. It means people say that some people, they have that superstition like this, you know, Antichrist must be um, very, um, by birth only, he's born very different. People say that he's like a demon child, you know, born evil, born to evil, and he's going to be very unique, uh, uh, different from the rest of the people and by birth he raised up evil and then that one become an antichrist and even in movies they say omen movie something you know they they think like that but that is very wrong it's not going to be like that antichrist is somebody like this he he not from the beginning he's antichrist he's a good person in the beginning Later on, when he comes to power, after he comes to power, then he will change. After he become famous, after he become more popular, and after everybody started loving him, worshiping him, that's when he's going to change to as an antichrist. Now what? It is like a maybe temp temptation he might given himself. You know, like a Satan, he might given himself to Satan, you know, for, for, for power, more power, you know. So like, because it's, I'll tell you why there is something here about the number of the Antichrist 666, right? When we are, I will, I think we are, we, we, are, we are going to come to that, um, that uh, passage soon. Then I will explain why it is, okay? And so let's go by verse by verse now. So here, um, he opened his mouth and blasphemy against God 
and blaspheme his name and his tabernacle, that is those who dwell in heaven. Okay, so and those who dwell in heaven against saints, he's going to blaspheme against God and against his tabernacle, right? And those who dwell in heaven, about whom, about whom that who are those saints in heaven, he's going to blaspheme against them, who gone into rapture. You know, who are who escaped in the rapture, whoever the people of God who are going to escape in the rapture, right? And he's going to blaspheme against them. Maybe he's going to speak all bad things about them. You know, maybe he's going to bring all wrong propaganda, wrong things, because to deceive people who are on the earth, he might be telling them wrong things about the people who were raptured. You know, so that's what he's going to blaspheme. And then, um, and then verse seven, it says, uh, uh, it was also given to him to make war with the saints and to overcome them and authority and authority over every tribe. It means whoever remained that time, whoever remained and the people they're going, some of them are going to change. Some of them are going to repent and come back to God. And those are called saints that time. So that time, this Antichrist is going to overcome them, you know, with tribulation. He's going to persecute them. He's going to kill them. So that's why it says that he's going to overcome them, you know. And so a lot of people are going to become martyrs that time. So in all the tribes and every nation, it means most of them are like a Gentile nations who are going to become martyrs that time, you know. And then, um, and all who dwell on the earth will worship him. And uh, everybody is going to worship him, you know. And, uh, and whose name has not been written from the book of life, you know. All those people are going to worship Satan worship antichrist sorry worship antichrist and that time whoever is see who are whose names are not written in the book of life right remember in the previous chapters we also talked about angel coming from heaven and putting a mark on the foreheads of all his children and whoever do not have the mark of our father our heavenly father mark on our foreheads, right? So their names are not written in the book of life, right? So those people only are going to worship this antichrist, okay? And then if anyone is destined for captivity, to captivity he goes. It means, what is that means here? Anyone who is going to work for antichrist, you know, a, who is going to work for, that time government will be antichrist government right so whoever work for them they they're going to be they, they're going to catch other people right and and they will be captured that's what whatever you show to others and it will be done to you back whatever the measure you measure others it will turn back to you so that's what he says here if, if anyone kills, this, the, he will be killed by the same sword, right? It's the same thing he's read here. If anyone is destined for captivity, to captivity he goes. If anyone kills with the sword, with the sword he must be killed. You know, it means you are not, you see, even you don't get jobs, it's okay. That's what the perseverance and faith of the saints will be proved in that time. If you really genuinely believe in Jesus, if you genuinely are a good believer, then you must stand. You are, see, not so many people, oh, because if you're not given jobs, right, then you are going to accept this antichrist and you will take the jobs, you know, and you work for them. You work for antichrist. That's what he said. If you work for him, the same thing going to happen to you one day. You will be killed and you will be captured. You know, so this is the time we have to stand. We have to persevere. Even 
Oh, life goes, life goes, but never, never serve Antichrist. No? So um, let's go to the verse 11. So another vision again he saw is that another beast is coming now. Okay. He saw another beast coming, but this beast is coming from the earth. Earlier, that beast came from sea. And this beast is coming from earth. It means this beast is a different person, have a different rank. There is a difference in ranking. One beast came from the sea, must be more powerful, that one. And one is coming from the earth. Okay. So, the, and this person had two horns only, like a lamb, and spoke, he spoke as a dragon. Who is this one? This person must be two horns, right? Two horns like a lamb means he has the authority over two things, two horns. What it must be a political authority and a religious authority in a political system and religious system. You know, so he must be having authority in those two realms. Okay. And then he must be like a wrong prophet, you know, and he spoke like a dragon. It means a wrong prophecies. The dragon will give the power to speak all lies, wrong things, wrong prophecies. You know, he's a wrong prophet. So he exercises all the authority of the first beast in his presence. And he makes the earth and to, to worship the beast, right? So he his duty is to mainly to tell people, to make people to worship the first beast. So he's working mainly, he's working for the first beast. You know, and he's like, a, how he's going to convince people with all signs and wonders. This person is going to perform all the miracles, signs and wonders so that people will believe in his prophecies. People will believe in him. And he's going to make all of them to submit to those worship, this antichrist, you know. And um, so that's what it's written. He performs great signs. And even a sign like this kind of signs, you know, um, fire coming from heaven. Remember that? It's all counterfeit miracles, counterfeit. See, one thing you need to know about Satan is Satan has no power of creating anything. He's, he cannot, he's not creative, but he is only imitative. Like he is only imitate. He's all, whatever he do, whatever God does, he try to imitate everything. He's a counter, counterfeit. He does all. That's all he knows. Even a marking taking a mark of the beast, actually that's, God did that. God sent an angel and to put a mark on the foreheads. So that's what Antichrist wants to do. He, he again imitates the same thing. He wants to put a mark of the beast on the foreheads again. You know, so that's all. Everything what he do is a counterfeit. Okay. Um, here, <clears throat> So the fire coming from heaven is also, who did that? Elijah, when he was offering that sacrifice, you know, he, uh, he called out, he cried out to God and fire came down and consumed that offering, right? So that's what that kind of sign and this uh, wrong prophet will do, you know? So uh, uh, some supernatural powers, they also, demons also perform. You need to know how, because in, in Moses, when he was in Egypt, he was doing all those wonder signs with the staff, you know, in the beginning, what happened? And um, Pharaoh called all the magicians in his uh, um, kingdom, and they also did. They also, but their power at one point stopped. Is uh, The enemy power cannot match the power of God. But the power is limited them. But remember, they also can do some of the supernatural things. So this here, this wrong prophet 
was doing some supernatural things, signs and wonders, calling out fire from heaven, and it came. You know, it comes. And that's why Jesus said, never, never, you know, think that a, a man of God is not known by signs and wonders. People think that, oh, where there is a power and there is God. People say like that. Oh, if anyone is doing, if anyone is powerful, it means if anyone is able to do miracles and they think that, oh, they are the man of God or oh, that they are God's people. That is very wrong. That's why Jesus said very clearly, know the person, recognize the tree by the fruits. Come on, recognize the tree by the fruits. So you have to recognize a person by the fruit, by their life, by the character, by the nature. What kind, is that Christ's nature is in them or not? So that's all. Never, never think oh, because they're powerful, because they are doing signs and wonders. That doesn't mean they belong to God because here this wrong prophet being given some evil powers by the devil. So that's why in the last days, Jesus said, some will come to me and say, in your name, I did this. In your name, I did this. But Jesus is going to throw them in the hell. So you have to remember the power, what you are getting. Is it from God or is, is even the devil can give powers? Okay. So... Um, Then, and verse 14, and he deceives those who dwell on the earth because of the signs which it was given to him to perform in the presence of the beast. That's why, you know, even sometimes people say that, you know, oh, I went to there, I went to that place, holy place, oh, we went to psychics, we went there, and they're also doing this. They also have power. Uh, I got healed by that. So, devil also do such things okay so um telling the so you perform in the presence of the beast telling those who dwell on the earth to make an image to the beast who had the wound of the sword and has come to life you know so this is this is the reason this is the main reason why they want to worship him is that because that wound was came back this person help some country or some nation to come back to life again, revive everything what was dead again, was what was dead before. So that become a big reason for all people to worship him. So this wrong prophet magnifies that issue more, magnifies and tells people, make an image, make his image and worship that image, you know. And, he, um, and it was given to him to give breath to the image of the beast so that the image of the beast would even speak and cause as many as do not worship the image of the beast to be killed. Even that kind of sign also, they perform, you know, um, that kind of sign too. start giving something into the image, you know. I don't know, sometimes even... People start telling that, you know, oh, that um, in that so-and-so statue, the tears are falling from the star, from the eyes of the statue, you know. And, uh, oh, there's something, milk is coming from the ears uh, and uh, blood is coming from the hands, uh, you know. And people just lined up, lined up to see that. And they started worshipping those statues. You know, even the enemy can do such things. Even the beast, that, that image also can do certain things. So they, they try to, that the, the evil powers can make something to come up from the image too. People will be astonished to see, oh, this, you know, otherwise, because word of God says they have eyes, but they don't see. They have ears, but they don't hear, you know. So that's what he, it speaks about idols. So de to deceive people, the devil is going to do something to the idol also so that people don't think, oh, that is only an idol. People don't think that. 
they think that oh there is something in the idol you know so uh, like that he deceives people and he causes all the small and the great and the rich and the poor and the free men and slaves to be given a mark on their right hand on their forehead do you see that all kinds of people will take the mark now rich poor and free men slaves everybody you know small great and they started taking the mark on the hand or we don't know on the is it in the hand or forehead somewhere okay so and he provides that no one will be able to buy or to sell except the one who has the mark either the name of the beast or the number of his name did you see that without the mark you won't be able to buy anything you won't be able to sell anything so now you tell me how the food comes how you can even survive without the mark right the mark could be like a number it says number that is the actually a name of the beast is in the number you know actually what it is like a names alphabets also numbered right like a a alphabet is uh, in the number 1 right b alphabet in the number 2 so like that the name is also in the the they can write in the numbers right name is also can be written in the so that's why actually the mark will be the number but the number in that number name the name of the beast will be in the number okay so we don't know but the number is given here here 666 right here is here is wisdom god is saying that here is wisdom let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast for the number is that of a man and his number is 666 so i don't know how in the uh, it says that in the greek letters um these uh, one to uh 36 numbers i think uh, i don't know when they add all those numbers that will come to 660 i don't know what it is but there's something like that okay so the name of the person is in the number and also why 666 if you think about 666 um seven is the complete right seven number is the complete that's god's number we say seven is the god's number because always god used seven you know um uh seven six days he worked and seventh day he rested right so seven means is a completion six means it's not completed <laughs> you know so it is not the right number like it six is not completed so uh, and also if you uh, see in first kings one time i even preached that king solomon king solomon the yearly he was getting 666 gold golden um talents like you know go offerings it it is counted every year he was getting he was getting 666 golden talents so i can give you the reference you can check it you know once i preached this actually first kings chapter 10 verse 14 first kings yeah 666 talents of gold he was getting every year king solomon okay and why why i was really very surprised to see that why lord that 666 exactly that number was there in for king solomon and now this uh, uh, satan number is also 666 you know so it really explains to me why because solomon was a king solomon was a good king right but later on he was corrupted but in the beginning of his ruling he was a very good king so antichrist also is going to be like that the one who become antichrist in the beginning he was a good person he was a good person later on he will change into antichrist when he become famous 
when the pride comes we don't know what is going to happen how he is going to be tempted by the devil how he is going to sell himself to the devil we don't know he is going to be corrupted later that's why first three and a half years is okay and later in the three and a half years he is going to become very very evil you know so that's why it is like a king solomon same thing maybe god is just trying to tell us like a king solomon he was a good person in the beginning you know so um and then uh, chapter 14 let's move on to the chapter 14 here if you see then i looked and behold the lamb was standing on the mount zion and with him 144000 people was standing behind him and these people are have the mark of the heavenly father name on their heads hallelujah and they were standing with the lamb of god they were standing with jesus on the mount zion you know and these are 144000 who are they were they, they were the israelite tribes 12 tribes in each tribe 12000 12000 in each tribe and total it's 144000 people so it means all these people are you know in the tribulation time they survived the tribulation it's not that they they died and they coming back no in his vision they were there with jesus on the mount zion it means these people were alive very alive that time when jesus comes when jesus come they are going to be there with him on the mountain and they survived this seven years of tribulation they survived okay so it means they had they had the power like a shadrach meshach abednego see how they believed in in god that who, they proved that god is able shadrach meshach abednego proved that god is able to protect them preserve them and rescue them in the fire too so these people were like that these people had the power to believe these people proved that god is able to protect them rescue them even in the tribulation time so somehow i don't know how with the power of god supernaturally they survived tribulation maybe that is their faith that kept them alive for this tribulation time their faith kept them alive and so these people with the with the jesus and i heard a voice from heaven like the sound of many waters and the like the sound of loud thunder and the voice which i heard was the like a sound of harpist playing you know it means he was he heard the sound of heaven it means god was speaking maybe god was telling like this you know you faithful you faithful and uh, my servants you know maybe god was uh, giving them that uh, appreciation about these people you know um, you know you have done the great job you you stood you know you persevered you know you are faithful servants like that and he god might be talking about them you know he heard a voice from heaven and then this they all started singing a new song that time they started worshiping god you know and uh, with the harps and then it says that uh, about them they're all purchased from the earth by the blood of the lamb and about them they were god was telling about them testifying that pure then did not defile themselves with any woman it means it speaks about in no sexual immoral speaks about purity it speaks about their purity their pure and also it speaks about um they are the first fruits of god why they are called first fruits in that tribulation time in the tribulation time israelites are the first fruits and later on other people also change 
and by them by them when they go and preach and through them and the other people also going to be changed so in that time they are the first fruits to god you know and he says these have been purchased from among men as first fruits to god unto the lamb and there is no life found in them and they are blameless people wow hallelujah praise the lord you know and that such an awesome thing is going to happen in that time many many jews and israelites are going to be like that in that time okay and then verse 6 he says i saw another angel flying in the air this angel is you know is coming to preach the gospel usually god we never heard that god given that responsibility to angels to preach the gospel it's always human right god always given that responsibility that commission to people to us not to angels but but that time you know very rare these kind of things happening is very rare even angels preaching the gospel you know i don't know how um like you know for uh, mary message came through gabriel in a dream i right how the angel came even to um, um uh, who is that uh, shepherds angel came appeared to shepherds and given the message about uh, uh, birth of the jesus christ to them like that angels were also talking and bringing messages to people you know probably that way so he saw in a vision angel coming from the heaven and preaching the gospel to people that time you know and not only that this angel even telling people about judgment the coming of the judgment is still and also telling people fear god now fear god now only you know and worship god now you know before it it becomes too late what happens the one who is not letting people to bow down to jesus one day that that is going to be removed from this earth antichrist or whoever the spirit is working is going to be removed when that is removed people have to bow down to jesus that's why it says one day every knee will bow every tongue will confess the day is coming everybody on this earth is going to bow down one day but should not wait for that day to come because that's not a good day for people who never believed all their life suddenly when they see you know the king they're going to bow down but here angel is telling fear him now fear him now worship him now you know and fear god otherwise judgment is going to come you know actually when he speaks about did i say that he speaks about um, antichrist it's like a spirit of antichrist here somewhere okay later on we'll see um then another angel he saw another angel he saw and following this angel another angel is speaking like that oh babylon is fallen babylon is fallen who is that babylon you know that that great city of babylon that time we don't know who babylon means what is the meaning of babylon fallen maybe the government the great the government of the antichrist government or whatever whoever that time the antichrist rule so the government is fallen that angel is saying that this government is fallen fallen you know and another angel another angel third angel and coming and with a loud voice and saying that you know um, if anyone worship the beast and his image or receives a mark on his forehead or in his hand he will also drink the wrath of god the wine of the wrath of god you know so the angel is telling that the wrath of god is going to come right and that is going to come upon the antichrist and that wrath will come upon everybody 
who takes the mark of that antichrist beast mark or you know and and in the um, yes and the smoke of the torment goes up forever and is saying that when that wrath comes how terrible that is going to be is telling that the smoke will come up well like the torment is so terrible it is just hell it is a eternal hell lake of fire she the angel is talking about lake of fire people are going to be thrown into the lake of fire you know so then he saying that here is the perseverance of the saints is the people who persevere in this time do not take the mark even they go through problem problem even they go through death death but they do not take the mark of the beast they do not worship his image that's why it's called it's a perseverance of saints here those who persevere they will they will escape the wrath of god okay and then he's saying that um i heard a voice from heaven saying that blessed are the dead who die in the lord from now on anybody you know who takes the death who even ready to die but not take the number of the beast and they are blessed people they are blessed people from now on world whoever become martyrs they are blessed people that's what he's saying that you know and then i looked a behold a white cloud and sitting uh, you know uh, so what huh yeah so already time over it takes long time here yeah, this one yeah okay this is about jesus coming down uh, you know from heaven and he saw jesus having a white um, golden crown wearing a golden it's a jesus is jesus golden crown sitting on the cloud you know so when you see like a jesus when um, they put a, a thorn a thorn thorn of crown of thorns right but now in a golden crown is coming with a golden crown and sitting on the cloud he saw that vision and there is a in his hand there was a sick, sickle in his hand you know the, they use that to reap the harvest right and when, and there is another um, angel speaking there's a voice coming from the altar altar and telling you know i uh, um the voice is telling jesus let that uh, you know pour out that wrath upon this because it's a reap that the wine the wine grapes are so fully uh, ripe and now it's time to take that uh, uh, wine and put it in the wine press and it is fully uh, ripe you know what it means the coming from the altar is the prayers prayers of martyrs prayers of saints always whenever it speaks about the altar that shows the prayers prayers of god's people prayers of martyrs you know so that that voice that prayers is um, telling jesus like you know and take take the vengeance now take vengeance on the enemy now because this fully ripe the ra- why it is fully ripe means so if you see that wine grapes fully ripe like even you you touch it the wine comes out this it just flows the juice flows it it is that ripe it means what god you waited so long you are waiting so long come on take vengeance now it is so much evil now this on the earth the work of the antichrist is so much increased the work of the satan is too much now unbearable too much now it's fully ripe now it's the time to pour out this wrath now you know so that's what angels were speaking to jesus like that and then jesus throws that sickle on the earth and that is a 
judgment coming up on the earth. And there, there are going to be many more other things happen. Uh, you know, okay, quickly, I want to finish this scene of heaven. So when uh, John, uh, Apostle John saw another uh, sign in heaven that time, you know, he saw there are seven angels hmm, and coming uh, from heaven. And these seven angels are going to bring seven plagues. Okay. And, uh, and he saw a tabernacle, temple. He saw a temple in heaven. From the temple, these angels are coming. You know, the temple is, he's saying that is a tabernacle of God. Actually, Moses, right? God given Moses uh, the details of the tabernacle. Wow. All the construction of the tabernacle, every detail, God given Moses. Actually, that is reality. In the heaven, actual temp tabernacle is there. That, that replica, that exact copy of that given to Moses down here on earth. So it's, we should not say that copy of tabernacle on the earth. No, copy of tabernacle in heaven. So that is the reality. So from that temple, these angels are coming. And when they come out, like he, he saw smoke in the temple. He saw smoke. It's like a smoke coming from the temple. What is this smoke? You know, if you see when God spoke to Moses about building the tabernacle, when he finished the tabernacle, building tabernacle, and the glory of God is like a smoke in the, in the tabernacle and no one could enter in because of the full of the glory that is in the, temp in the temple, right? Here also he saw the same thing like that because it, the word says that no one can enter into the temple because it is full, the glory is inside until seven plagues completed. These seven angels came out of the temple to bring seven plagues on this earth. Till all the plagues finished, no one would be able to enter into the temple. Yeah. Okay, then I can stop this. And these um, uh, seven bowls of wrath. Can I finish this also? Because, uh, hmm? no? No. If I finish this, I can easily divide other chapters in three, in two more days, I can finish. Just a wrath. Are you all okay? Okay. Okay? Yeah. Yes. Just a, 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 about wrath, I want to just complete this so that it will be easy for us to complete in two more days. Okay, so these, um, uh, these seven angels, first six angels, they are going to uh, throw the, um, you know, they were given, um, you know, remember in the first time there is a vision for John, uh, Apostle John uh, having four creatures, four, four creatures at the throne of God. So the one of them, one of the angel in that four uh, given golden bowls to these seven angels, you know. So what is those golden bowls? The, each bowl has one wrath, one, you know, to pour it on the earth. So one angel, one bowl, first he pour it down. Okay. So when he pour it down, you know, what happens? The people who have the mark of the beast and they all get, got uh, this source, you know, very dreadful source. It's very unpleasant, loathsome and malignant source. You know, and very dreadful, very deadly, deadly source they get, and 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 but uh, who 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 do not have the mark of God, but they have the mark of the beast. Only those people only get it. Okay, and the second uh, the second angel pours second bowl down on the earth. This time, what happened? All the animals in the sea destroyed. And it become blood. Okay. And then, um, and then third one. And this time, this time, all the freshwater rivers and uh, springs of water, they also become blood. You know, now it says, 
one time right and um, moses did the same thing that um, water become blood you know and actually these people who worked for antichrist and antichrist they killed right they killed many saints they their blood they kill and god will make them to drink the blood you know so many people are going to die because of no water everything turned into blood so this is the vengeance of god because they killed many people and many people blood is there and god will make them to drink the blood only so that's because there's no water and people are going to die out no water you know and then um she i'm not saying it is actually written they poured out the blood of saints and prophets and you have given them blood to drink they deserve it you know and the fourth angel poured bowl upon this uh, upon the sun and sun becomes dark this time mm -hmm. huh? uh, so, and they we fire and heat too much of heat you know for that also people will die because of too much of heat and then um okay. even then people and uh, they did not repent and give him glory and then uh, and then the fifth angel poured out his bowl on the throne of the beast wow now antichrist now it is about antichrist and his kingdom everything became dark and they nod their tongues because of pain you know what everybody is in pain even antichrist all his kingdom became dark because of pain they started blaspheming god you know and they they are angry they become angry with god and then um sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river and here um uh, this river euphrates river is something uh, that is uh, uh, blocking people from east to go to the west but when this water dried up when the water euphrates river dried up there is a way created and the people from the east so army from the east they go to the west you know so what happened they join forces with the west now so before it was not like that they all join together this time you know why they all all the army join together they want to fight against god and the satan makes all people come together whoever that time remained they are all the worshipers of beast they are all join together this time and to fight against god so satan even able to deceive them thinking that they can even win god they can even fight god and they can even win god that's how he deceives people and they get together to fight god that battle is called Ar armageddon armageddon battle armageddon battle means the whole earth join together to go against god you know can anybody fight with god <laughs> can anybody fight with god and and win you know and then um, see here it is a three frogs coming from the false unclean spirits like a frogs coming from the mouth of the false prophet these are the demons see they it is what it means frogs coming means lying spirits these false prophet they lie you know how ahab was uh, you know, diverted and how false prophet given him wrong direction for ahab telling that you are going to win this battle and then i have believed and went and he was killed in the battle he did not win the battle same thing this false prophet mouth three frogs coming out means what lying spirits come out and he tells people we can win god we can fight and go against god and that's what he makes people to do that you know yes Ah oh. so finally seventh angel poured out his bowl upon the air 
and loud voice came out of the temple from the throne saying it is done now finally seventh bowl then god is saying that finished finish the battle because there is a big earthquake comes that time and in this earthquake you know because all people join together in a some valley to fight against god and god brings big earthquake never never in the history people saw such kind of earthquake in this earthquake the earth just parted like you know islands mountains disappear in this earthquake mountains disappear islands disappear and everything swept away and that's why it says it is done everything over hallelujah and also hailstones god brings hailstones upon people you know how big that hailstone 100 and 100 pounds each each hailstone weight is 100 pounds it seems that kind of things come upon people and whoever blasphemy god everybody is going to be killed that time over thank god i finished 16 and that's all in two more days i can finish